In this program, we're going to do something a little bit different than we did in the last program. The last program just had output. This time, we want to accept input from the user. But first, we're going to declare a variable. To declare a variable, you are creating a named place in memory to store something. So we're going to create a variable and we're going to give it a name and we're going to give it, call it num days. This is something called camelback notation. The first word starts with a lowercase letter. Each additional word would, will start with an uppercase letter. And the expression would be zero. When you create a variable, you usually initialize it to zero or to a space if it's something that would be holding letters. This is a very loosely typed programming language. In a programming language like C++, you would define if the variable was a string, something that holds characters, or a number. In fact, you'd be so specific as to decide if it's an integer, only allowing it to hold whole numbers, or if it would be considered a double, which would allow you to have a decimal point in numbers after it. There's more options than that. Some languages might have you just declare number or string, but this one, you don't even have to declare it. Just try not to mix things. You don't want to add hello to zero. The next step is to actually accept the assignment from the user. So we're going to get input, and the variable that we're going to accept is numDays. Now it will actually work if you don't declare the variable first, but I'm trying to get you in good habits for when you start actually programming in a language. And in a programming language, you will typically declare something before you try to use it. And I want you to get in that habit. So the pro problem that I'm actually solving here is we want to calculate what a library fine would be depending on how many days an item is late. So we can also put in another variable here and it's actually going to store something. So we're going to type in fine or daily fine equals and we'll say point ten, so ten cents a day if you're late handing something in. Now we can have the input number of days here and this will work but it's not user friendly. So you want to click on more and put in a more useful prompt and we're going to put it in the console because I think it's a more user friendly approach. So the prompt is going to be how many days overdue, oops notice here it says be sure to use quotes around literals, forgot that, how many days overdue is your book and make sure to have an opening and closing quotes or it will give you an error when you try to run it. Okay, now to make this meaningful, we're going to have to have some output. And the output will be, you owe the library and remember to put it in quotes and we're going to add the variable to it. Actually, we're going to add the calculation of the variable to it. So it'll be plus num days times daily fine. Now, if we test this, it should work. Let's test it. I'm just reading it to make sure that it's doing what I want it to. And I'm going to choose um, to hit the run continue. How many days overdue is your book? 10 days, that should be a dollar. Okay, well this didn't come out here where I wanted and it's not formatted very nicely. So let's take a look at this again. So I want to go into more here and I want to change that to the console. And then there's something else that I can do. And you may find yourself in the position where you have to look up some of the commands. So I'm going to go and look up visual logic dot org and this is they've got a useful website 
I'm going to go to the frequently asked questions and I've been here before and they have different things that you can do absolute number integer round random these are things you may need to look up one of the things I want is format currency and then I can put whatever it is in parentheses alright let's give that a shot so here we want to type format currency now in most languages the users or the um, programmers will use camelback notation but reserved words for the programming language typically are capital for both the first and any subsequent letters um, of new words so that's why this has a capital F here and it's not in camelback notation so let's try it again how many D's overdue is your book? 15 you owe the library $1.50 the only thing I would really change here is I'd put a space after that question mark and that's just to make it look nice which does count I want things to look nice so you should be proofreading for simple things like that to make it look nicer and let's try it again how many days overdue is your book 32 you owe the library 320 so that's a very simple exercise that will let you accept it'll let you create variables accept input and create output to display the results. You'll do a similar exercise for your program.